Hey, my friends. It's the Doug. I miss you guys. What the heck? Somebody went and pressed that weird button this weekend and everything. Well, you know where it's all at. You guys are all at home trying to figure out what's going on and everything. And we're all doing the same thing. We're at school trying to figure out what's going on. And, and we're missing you guys. And uh, I just wanted to touch base and say that I'm still here. I'm broadcasting from my new studio. I'm probably going to have a couple of studios. Uh, and I want to reach out to you guys on a regular basis and just stay in touch. And I'm, I want to share some ideas with you guys. I want to share some prayers with you guys and uh, talk about what's being you know, said online and trending and all that kind of stuff. And just generally have some fun. I got, uh, I got a couple things that I want to... I want to warn you against and I want to encourage you in. So two things. One's a first category is like uh, we're going to you know what? We're going to call it a vaccine. We're going to call it a vaccination. This is these are things that um, you're seeing going on just like I am. Uh, I spent a lot of time on Twitter yesterday. I I got home at the end of the day and I pulled into my driveway. I live out on our beautiful ranch and it's quiet and everything else. And I got there, shut my car off and put my head down just for a second on the steering wheel. And I, and I just listened and my ears were ringing and my head was pumping and I realized that I really had been like flipping through my feeds for most of the day just trying to stay on top of things and see what was changing next and everything. And then I woke up in the middle of the night. I woke up about two in the morning and, and I realized that I was, my first thought was like, what's coming next? And I was starting to get anxious about it. And I was like, man, I cannot be, I cannot be spending that much time uh, just trying to keep up and, and just bombarding myself with uh some of that negativity and the worry and anxiety and everything else. So, so here's what I'm going to suggest. I want you to vaccinate yourself against blame. Let's start with that one. Um, you're going to hear people online blaming, you know, where this thing came from, blaming governments for not acting fast enough, blaming. You'll hear all kinds of things. And what blame is, it's a bit of a, it's a release mechanism that lifts the weight off of our shoulders and puts it on somebody else's so we don't have to carry it anymore. It's a bit of a defense mechanism. But it's also super unhelpful because it, it starts to cause us to look at each other kind of suspiciously and sideways and everything else. And that, that spreads too, you know what I mean? Um, we see terms like uh, blaming China because that's where it started. Well, that's not how it works. This is not, it's not the blame game. It's not going to get us any further. So I want you to vaccinate against blame, okay? I want you to vaccinate against fear. We're going to go through this. There's just no avoiding it. We're going to go through it. And we're going to come out the other side. There's an end to this. And right now we're kind of in that ramp where everything is, is intense and it's ramping up and we haven't reached a peak and stuff like that yet. But we're going to go through it and we're going to get through it. And things are going to be okay. Now, we might have some hard things to go through in the meantime, but there's good on the other side of it, right? And so we don't need to be afraid of the future um, there's some things that might be fearful, but we don't want to live in fear. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, we can get through this and, and be okay. So there's a light at the end of the tunnel. So I want you to vaccinate against fear. I want you to vaccinate against rumors, rumors and gossip. Okay, please, please, please. It's so confusing out there right now. There's so many things I heard like, I heard one thing, you can kill the virus by gargling with salt water. No, 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 it doesn't work that way, okay? That's not that's not at all helpful. And people are sharing it and spreading it and stuff. And it's just based on, it's based on conjecture and bad science and, you know, mystery and all that kind of stuff. We're uncertain, and so we want something to grab onto. And so we start listening to just about, like, anything that would satisfy, uh, you know, that urge that we have to just get out of this, right? And so we circulate rumors and we can repeat them even without thinking about it. So please just go with the reliable sources and uh, really try and vaccinate against the rumors, all right? And finally, I want you to think about this. I want you to vaccinate against selfishness. Now, see what happens is we think, I got I to gotta preserve my own thing. I got to save myself, right? And I, and I get that. And we want to protect ourselves and our loved ones. We want to make sure we're following all the guidelines that are put in place and stuff like that. Um, we want to make sure that, you know, if we end up getting isolated for 14 days, that we're, we're prepared too, you know, and we've got what we need. That's, that's all fine. But when we start seeing things like panic buying and, and hoarding and stuff like that, what that is really doing is it's based in fear too. And we're saying, I'm taking care of me and I don't care about anybody else. Right now it's about me and my family and that's it. And that's a bit of a disease too. That's the disease of selfishness because there's going to be needs all around us. Stuff like that hoarding 
okay, what's happening is we're, we're taking resources that are meant to be spread out over the whole population and we're putting them all into one closet and it's our closet and we've got what we need, right? And so there's going to be lots of opportunities to reach out to people in need, but if we're just focused on ourselves, our selfishness is going to keep us from seeing those needs, right? So I want you to vaccinate against selfishness. Now, there's lots of things that can go viral besides a virus, right? You know what's cool? If you look at a viral YouTube video, like, uh, you know, you go back to... Um You go look at that, you can call up the graph on YouTube and you'll see a viral chart. 1.7 billion, that's with a B, billion views. 1.7 billion views and it was all viral growth. That goes like this. And you can actually lay that over top of the virus spread and it's exactly the same thing. It's, just, it's called viral growth. It's how these things spread, right? So I wanna tell you how to go viral with some other things because these things can spread too. I want you to go viral with joy. Joy is a disinfectant. Joy is like sunlight that just cleans everything right up, okay? You might not be happy. There's a difference between happiness and joy. I'm not happy right now, okay? There's some hard things going on. I've got some very close family members, one stuck in Europe right now in France. I've got uh, my mom and dad are isolated at home too, and it's, you know, it's a sensitive thing for them. And so I'm not happy about this. I'm not happy that I don't get to see you guys. I'm not happy that I'm seeing my friends stressed out and worried not happy about those things, but my joy can't be killed. You see, my joy rises above all that stuff. And if there's a smile on my face that comes from my faith in God, that God's good and that he's got this and he's walking with me through it. Okay. And that gives me great joy. And I know there's going to be celebrating in the streets when there's finally an announcement. Hey, everything's been lifted. All the restrictions are gone. And man, we should be out in the streets and we should be popping corks and throwing confetti it's going to be awesome right and so we keep our eyes on that in the meantime we can be we can be joyful and not happy and so that brings me to another thing you can go viral with and that's you can go viral with hope okay i want you to be talking about how good it's going to be when this is done i want you to keep in mind i want you to visualize what it's going to look like when everything's finished this is going to be a memory at some point right i don't want to sound like an old dude or anything but at one point, you're going to be telling your kids or you're going to be telling your grandkids all about this COVID-19 outbreak and what it was like being alive for that and stuff. And you're going to look back on it and it's just going to be a memory and that's totally possible. And so we want to keep a positive mind frame. We want to keep hope and we want to spread that hope to others. Okay, so talk about hopeful things. Hey, what are you hoping to do, you know, once we don't have to stay inside anymore, stay, you know, two meters apart. I'm hoping, I'm looking forward to hugging some people again. You know what I mean? Right? So we're going to go viral with hope. And finally, I want you to go viral with generosity. Okay. This is just like tying into uh, the disease of selfishness, right? We're going to see some needs and you guys maybe heard about this and you know what? I know some of you and I know you've already been reaching out and you're being generous in this difficult time, right? There's gonna be people who need some babysitting, elderly who need some, just a phone call, some friendship. They might need something delivered. We have an opportunity to meet needs. If we have ability and there's a need that we can meet, we also have an obligation to consider meeting that need. And we might see more need right around us than we've seen in any time in your or my history. So are you ready for that, right? Are you ready to share? Are you ready to give? Okay, are you ready to donate time or money, right? Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be. Don't feel like there's not enough to go around. Okay, and you got to protect yourself. We got to expand that. And we got to look outside ourselves, and we got to go viral with generosity. Those are some things that have really been on my mind lately. I want to be talking more with you guys. So here's the deal. I want you to be able to connect with me, and I want to be able to connect with you as well. So um, there's a guy I follow on on uh, Twitter. His name's Shane Claiborne. Super great follow, and uh, he tweeted out something. He said, "I believe in prayer. I also believe in soap. Prayer and soap. Okay, we can do some spiritual things to stay healthy, and we can do some practical things to stay healthy. It's going to be a combination of both. So here we go. At prayer and soap on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter." And uh, follow me on one or all three of those so I can stay in touch with you guys. And I'm just going to put something out every couple of days and uh, we're going to chat. We're going to have some fun. And uh, you guys can ask me some questions if you want. That'd be really awesome. Just DM me some questions or put some questions in the comments to this video. And uh, we'll just stay in touch, right? And I want you to, I want to help you 
grow spiritually through this too, okay? I want you to stay healthy in your mind and in your body, and I want you to grow spiritually through this too. And uh, here's what else. I'm going to promise you something. I want to promise you that I'm going to pray for you. If you send me something and you need prayers, I'm going to, I'm going to pray for you. My wife Judy and I, we sit together every morning, and we're going to make it particularly our work to pray for you guys. If there's something you're worried about, if there's something you've lost in this, uh, you know, in this crisis, if you had to quit something that uh, you were really looking forward to, or if there's something coming up that you're just unsure of if it's going to be uh, able to happen or not, and all of those things. If there's physical needs that you have, like maybe you or your family members or something, you might have a need too. So I want you to message me or leave comments wherever you feel is most appropriate and uh, make sure that we can connect with you guys and we're going to help you out. Okay, so I promise you I'm going to be there for you spiritually and physically. We'll do what we can. Okay. Um, but please reach out, uh, especially if you're feeling anxious. And uh, know that I'm missing you and I'm looking forward to being able to chat again. And we'll talk to you in uh, you know, the next couple of days. All right, we'll see you guys. Oh yeah, P.S. I think I found the cure. It was hiding somewhere back in the 80s. Check this out. The disease, but I'm the cure. <laughs>